However, Welsh banding is not as healthy as people think. Yeah. Well, that was my okay. next question. Yeah. Right. Well, it's, it's, I, you have Corey and you've got Corey at the top. All right. They, the absolutely stunning contest in band. And they are, they, they, without doubt, 20% better than anybody else. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. Then you've got Tradiga. And then beneath that, then you've got to search for real top class bands. And where people see Welsh banding when they go to the national championships in the lower sections, whatever, at Cheltenham, they do well. The reason they do well is not because they're better than anybody else, it's because they're in the right sections. And that's rather by default, because we, we've only got roughly 40 bands competing at our regional championships. When we come to, I think it's you and Stephen, you have about 85, something like that. Yeah. Okay, and you There's have a, a lot of bands. Of whatever, and the third section. You have ba I've seen bands going up in London, they could go, they could go 15, 20 years, come in 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and again, year after year after year, they won't qualify for whatever. And again, in the championship, and the problem lies in the championship section. Everybody, yeah, well, thinks, we, everybody thinks they're a championship section band, and they're not. You know, we yeah. need, need to be realistic of where we are, what standard we are, and then that will filter down, and then you'll have more success. Because people, as we said, with individuals, they, we just need to be realistic about where we are and how good we are, both as individual players and as bands. Once we do that, that's possibly a problem sorted. And as we discussed earlier in this lockdown about starting from the bottom, let's build from the bottom and, and go up, you know, and get that pyramid going, you know, which was absolutely true. So tell us about your role at Tadiga now then, because you, st you still are involved with the band and people might not know that. So I'm going to ask you, oh, what, what, right. you, what I am do you get up to there? Not, not, as a, not as a player. As I said, I gave up playing 15 years ago. Once, once the soprano parts, I played people <laughs> like Mike. He used to put too many. Once they started putting too many top C's in places, that was the end. Yeah, that was it. the yeah, end yeah. of me. I, I, was up, <laughs> I was brought up in Gilbert Vinter and Eric Ball. Yeah. Used to look at the part. If you had one top C in it, you look blind. And that's, I left you a bit of practice. Nowadays, <laughs> the soprano parts are just bonkers. I take my hat off to any soprano player okay yeah. they deserve everything you buy them drinks for the rest of their lives because they deserve <laughs> it all so uh, so i give up I, once i gave up playing i took a break from the, from the band and then when ian porthouse came in 2008 uh he asked me to come back to help out a little bit in the back in the back room and uh i became first of all the chairman and now i'm the vice you could tell when the age comes to you become a vice president and it's usually because they want some money off you uh, so I'm still involved in the band. I'm the person who goes over to check on the band room, clean the toilets, uh, put the Hoover over once a week. I do that. I mean, I'm delighted to do it. Write about the history, uh, but I also help them try to get some of the projects that Tradiga get involved in. You know, we were yeah. involved in. We played in. We were. You may have seen us. You may have seen me actually playing for about ten seconds. We were on Brassic too. On Sky, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. So we, we appeared on there. We were there all day filming, and we, of course you think, blind me, we're going to be on telly, and then you find you're on television <laughs> for about five seconds. So yeah. we, you get involved in doing the, that's the type of like things I like doing, getting the band yeah. involved in good musical projects, things that we did with the Rombe Ballet, yeah, uh, well, Pride, the Pride film, those type of things. It's, that's the thing that interests me. Yeah, I'm lucky. I, I used to.